I'm Rapstein of Linden Associates with your Thursday morning flash update for November 19, 2020, just after 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Well, we're walking into a different type of market today. We had some pretty interesting corrections already take place in the Russell and the NASDAQ. You got down pretty hard in the Dow. You've come back to down 127. That's still down nicely. Uh, and you've come well off the lows in the S&P. The COVID headlines keep taking over right now. And if you'll remember, I told you, we had a wave starting uh, Friday, it was past Friday, where the market was just gonna pay attention to the vaccines, but I warned, I said, you will get opportunities on pullbacks because the headlines won't go away until the vaccine gets into the mainstream. We'll hear the good news of what it's going to do, but we won't see the fact of what it's going to do. We rather, we're going to see the impact of the COVID itself. And that's what's going on. And you're getting that back and forth. It's even impacting the silver. Do I think silver's gonna stay down? No, I don't. And that's because the copper market is staying so strong. The platinum market is staying strong. So from that point of view, I understand the speculative people. I understand they get put in and taken out of markets, and that's the function of the marketplace. We're going to get the Nat Gas report today. We'll see if they've got an injection or not. The weather is mild as can be still across the uh, United States. Chicago example. Normally, we're 46 as a temperature today. We're going to be 66. So this just gives you an idea what's going on there. The dollar index, we've had a heck of a short covering bounce. We're looking at a pullback in all major currencies against the dollar on that. And that too is weighing on the metal markets to a degree. Bonds and notes, you can see they're getting a small bid here, but it's not off the economic data. If you look at the jobless claims, they didn't meet the expectation. The market was for a 1,000 increase. You're up uh, 31,000. The continuing claims, that continues to settle back. All the rest of the activity, as I'm looking at it, is powerful. Philly Fed, look at this regional index. Everything was uh, very, very solid. I mean, I can see the shipments are down almost in half, but Everything else still looks pretty darn good. Even look at the inventories. They're up a little bit. You're going to have to build some inventories. You've been draining so much. Home sales, uh, the NAR, National Association of Realtors, up 4.3%. They expected it down 1.2%. Then you go into the average price, and that price just keeps moving on up. It's up 15% from a year ago month. There's just not a lot of homes on the market for sale. The conference board leading economic indicators came in right where the market was looking for. And as I said, in that gas, they are looking for a very small build right now. I think it was, uh, let me stand here so you can see it. 10 billion cubic feet, not very much, but still, the fact that you're getting builds at all interesting. I'll be very much watching today with great interest what the stock indices are going to do on this first wave of a break off of a COVID headline. So far, I'm encouraged that my ideas are correct in the NASDAQ and the Russell. I need to see if the other markets will join in and prove that uh, thought process correct. I want to remind you one of the things that I do. If you're a spider ETF trader, and there's many of you that are out there, at four in the afternoon, I start reviewing the day's action for you in a number of charts. I also put out on the weekend for you, during the weekend, just weekly charts. It's only for my subscribers, and we'll review every chart I cover, which is almost 40 of them. So you're going to get the longer term analysis, then Monday through Friday you get the shorter term analysis, but if I see something important on a weekly, I bring it in. I bring you every day the news coverage. So like I'm discussing right now with you these reports, well, they already have been discussed in my evening uh, report for you. $8.95 for the first 30 days. That's all it is. Price of a cup of coffee with a tip. Think of it that way. 30 days worth of the data be it a silver markets, be it the metal markets, be it all the stock indices, the TLTs, for those of you that are in government uh, work and you can only stay within the government funds, I cover, I cover a number of those. How do you get this? Go to our website under the word research, it's there. Call my staff, they'll get you set up like that. By the way, when you're a subscriber, it includes access to my uh, webinar, which uh, other people pay to get into. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a good day. I will talk to you tomorrow.